Hello, students. Good evening, everybody. Hello, good evening. Hi, welcome to our English class. It's a pleasure to greet you. Are you ready? I'm ready. That's yeah. awesome. Thank you, guys. Well, well ready. Yeah, that's very important. Thank you so much. I, I just want to see your motivation in your face, you know, ready to study English because, you know, we have had a very busy time and we go back and also with energy at this time to study English. This is the best. This is a great example for many people that say, you know what? I don't have time to study. The people say, you know, I don't have time to study. I'm very busy all the time, but you are showing that you are capable to do a lot of things. So congratulations for the work done. Don't stop. Keep it up working so hard and you will be very successful in the future. And now in the present too, of course, right? So let's begin. Okay, so before that we start, I just want to ask you guys, what do you remember about the last class? What do you remember? Tell me, I need a volunteer. Yes, who wants to help me? Wants to help me to answer what we studied yesterday. ¿Qué estudiamos? ¿Qué se acuerdan? What do I you remember? I remember we studied uh, WH question, more to be. Okay, thank you. What else? Great team. It was about a question where, how, okay. who, why, um, answer a question about, about, about this. Okay, perfect. So that's great. So we were discussing about these valuable questions with WH equation form. That's cool. Thank you. So it's always important, you know, take a short time to, you know, practice. You know, I know that your time is very valuable and at the same time can be very busy. And, but we can take advantage about the, about the language. So I think it's, it's very necessary. Let me show you right away the presentation for this class today. And um, we can see this one here. Look at this. Okay, that is the section number two. We combine the section one and two. And also with the questions where they work, it's gonna be focused about jobs for this second section. So let's start today. And also we have a, a kind of reading, what's in a name? What's in a name? Look at this one. Look at the names in the article. Do you know any people with these names? Look at the context. I need a volunteer for helping me to read the first part of this article. So look at the names in the article and do you know any people with these names? What are they like? So who wants to help me to read the first part? I need a volunteer that says, teacher William, I want to do it. Read. Thank you. Read the, read the, the, the article. Yes, the first part, okay. the first paragraph. The first part, okay. Your name is your name is very important when you think on yourself. You probably think of your name first. It is an important part of your identity. Right now, the two most popular names for babies in the United States are Jacob for boy and Emily for girls. Why are these names popular? And why are some names unpopular? Exactly. So you can see uh, this information about, you know, when you think about yourself, you probably think of your name first, right? It's like, our name is the reference. We are called. We respond when people ask about us, especially with our names. Look at this one. 
And who wants to help me to read the second part, please? Another volunteer. That will be this mm -hmm. part. I can. Thank you. Uh, Jennifer, raise your hand, I guess. Me escucha, sí. I listen. Okay. Um, names, names can become popular because of famous actors, TV or book characters or athletes. Popular names have a very positive thing. In popular names, so it's negative thing. So, frankly, so surprise. Is that not how it's pronounced? Which mm. one? The surprising thing. Surprising people generally hungry on the way they feel about name. Here are some common opinion about name from a recent survey. 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 Sorry. The previous one, surprisingly, that was saying in Spanish because it's a it's an adverb. In Spanish, it's like sorpresivamente. In English, it's surprisingly. Surprisingly, uh, people generally agree. Mm -hmm. And also, they talk about surveys. Que en este caso, un survey is prácticamente como una encuesta. And also, we have some names. Uh, in that case, I will read them because of the words. We have voice names: George, average, boring. Jacob, creative, friendly, Michael, good looking, athletic. The, the pronunciation is athletic. Stanley, nerdy, serious. And also there are some names, some girls' names like Betty, old fashioned, average. Uh, Emily, independent, adventurous. Jane, plain, ordinary. And Nicole, beautiful, intelligent. Look how interesting is this part. Look at that. And let's continue. So I just going to, somebody requested the, oh, Jonathan, Vladimir, help me to read the last part because you requested before. Okay. Thanks. So why do parents give their children unpopular names? The biggest reason is tradition. Many people are named after a family member. Of course, opinions can change over time. A name that is unpopular now might become popular in the future. That's good news for all the George and Betty's out, out there. All right, thank you so much. So you can appreciate that there are like some variations between the names so parents decide what names can be used. And uh, we say, I like this name or I don't like this name. So it's gonna be up to the people. So hello, my name is. So that's why this is focus about that. I would like to ask you these questions. Do you like your names? Yes, I like. Awesome. That's great because there are some people that say, I don't know, teacher, but I don't like my second name. And what is your second name? Oh, my name is this. Well, but this is a good name. Yes, teacher, but I don't like it. I, I think I would like to have a different name. Some people complain about names, but, you know, parents decide their names, you know, so it's going to be up to us. We have some questions that we will take and we will socialize in the class. So Adriana Gonzalez, can you help me to read the equations or the, the article in check? This, this one, can you help me to read this? Exactly the five ones. And reading. Yes, read, uh, please, the article. Read the, the five names or statements. Mm. Um, first one, your name is part of your identity. Identif. Mm. Continue with the rest. It's true. Okay. And Just two people, people often feel the same way about a particular name. Three, boys' names are more popular than girls names for people are often named 
after family members. Five, opinion about names can change. All right, so that's, that's something valuable. And uh, your name is part of your identity. So look at that one. Some people say that because of your name, uh, your name represents the identity. The equation is read the article and then check the statements that are true. So according to this article that we have discussed, and it says that your name is very important because think about yourself and also some names represent some people or some names are very popular. They can become popular because they are because of famous people, famous actors. Some people say, and what is your name? Ah, my name is Messi. And what is your name? Cristiano. Okay. Some people uh, say that their names are, <laughs> are famous because they represent some famous people on television or soccer players. So I don't know. So it says that names are very popular. Why do parents give their children unpopular names? The biggest reason is tradition. And many people are names after the family members. For example, Pedro Primero. Tú te vas a llamar Pedro Segundo. So Pedro Tercero. So uh, sometimes they are related to families. So my, my grandfather was called Thomas and my father is Thomas and I'm Thomas. So it's a tradition of families. And sometimes there are some names that are unpopular according to this article. So according to this one, I just want to ask you, um, check the article. Ustedes me dicen, Si ese tiene que ver con la lectura. Your name is part of your identity. ¿Qué dicen ustedes? ¿Cuenta o no? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. yes. I, will use, I will use a red one because it's like a little stuff. Okay, number two. People often feel the same way about a particular name. What do you think? Is true or not? Yes, true. People true. often feel the same way about particular names. It's like it's true. He it doesn't mention that, by the way, in the article, but mm, people often feel the same way about particular names. So if you, you're Carlos, okay, Carlos is okay for me. I don't have difficulties with that name. Nothing changes. Number three, boys' names are more popular than girl names. Yes. According to the article? No, no. dice eso el artículo? No. No, no, right? No. 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 So ignore this part. Number four, people are often named after family members? Yes. 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 In the article. And number five, opinions about names can change? Yes. Yes, yes of course. Because the article says that the members of opinions can change over the time. A name can be popular. For example, in El Salvador, there used to be some names that we were saying, what, what is that name? ¿Y cómo te llamas? ¿En serio, si te llamas? Because it's a no common name. Sometimes there are some people with, I mean, we are, we are names, we could say, but it's not bad. It's about traditions of calendars. I don't know if you have a name that, that was taken from a calendar. <laughs> Sometimes uh, you see the names in calendars and you say, okay, you will be called this. All right, let's continue. Questions, comments? No, right. Look no. at this. No. Okay. No. Okay, jobs in the United States. Okay, who wants to help me to read the jobs? A volunteer. Who wants to help me to read? Solo uno, no todos, tranquilos, tranquilos. Solo uno que, que me ayude a leer ahí, please. Uh, I, Francisco, okay. thank you, of course. Okay, uh, I read the all. Oh, okay, the first part is uh, the six worst jobs in the United States. Based on salary, strip, number of hours, working condition, and security. Uh, fisherman, taxi driver, cowboy, construction worker, dancer, uh, lumberjack. 
uh, bad, worse, the worst. Uh, entre malo, peor y más, más y peor. Uh, which job are dangerous? Why? What's your opinion? Which job do you do think is the worst? List three, list three other difficult jobs. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. According to this article, I mean, it's not 100% because it's just the last part of that. But in the United States, there are some jobs that have a level of priority in comparison to some other jobs. Like, that's why it's mentioned like the six worst jobs in the United States based on the salary, the stress, and number of hours. So there are some conditions that are taken into account for this process. So we have a fisherman, like the ones that Francisco have read. We have bad, Worst and the worst, the the formal, the comparative and the superlative. So what I want you to do is to take a short time to socialize with your partners the following question. Which jobs are dangerous and why? So you had to work in a small groups and you had to answer this question. Usted va a responder esa pregunta con sus compañeros. De todos los que están ahí, I mean, para algunos puede ser un trabajo normal. Okay, this job is good. I don't have problems with this job. But which jobs are dangerous? ¿Cuáles son los, los más peligrosos? What is your opinion? Which jobs do you think is the worst? Uh, from the ones we have here, which job do you consider like the most, the worst? I mean, I don't like this job because of the salary. You can give your opinion about this job. And list three other difficult jobs. Y va a mencionar aparte, Otros tres trabajos que usted considere que son difíciles. Remember that you had to speak in English. You had to socialize this information in English. That's what we had to do. So for that reason, we will be working in, in small groups, in breakup rooms, and you had to answer these questions. So I will create the breakup rooms. Um, I don't know if I can, well, let me check here. Vamos a crear los breakout rooms y usted va a tener el espacio para socializar en inglés con sus compañeros. Ok. So remember, you have the freedom to participate actively. Do you have a question before we go on to the, to the groups? Questions? No question. It's clear what we had to do, right? Yes. Yes. Ok, thank you. Someone else said yes to? Catherine, it's clear? Yes. Excellent. So let's create the breakout rooms and you will speak in English and you will socialize these questions. So denos, denos, denos su opinión. Comparta y trate de hablar inglés, que eso es lo importante. Por eso estamos acá. No se preocupe si me dice yo, yo hablo inglés, pero siento que me da un poquito de pena. Don't worry, porque si usted no lo practica, no lo va a desarrollar. Let's go.
incendios, no sé cuál sería la, la palabra para decir incendio. Fire. Fire. Uh -huh, para fire. Fire. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Más o menos sería because they were uh, into the fire. In, in, into the fire. Uh -huh. yes. Dentro de incendios. Más o menos así. Uh -huh. No sé ustedes qué piensan. Otro trabajo. Sí, yes. uh, for me, the work, uh, the worst job uh, is security. Security uh, because you risk your life. Y, uh, and it is a poorly, um, como mal pagado. Poorly ah, paid. And mal, uh, poorly paid. Mm -hmm. It's true. I, I. I saw a documental about Fisherman. Fisherman, uh, he he passed about three or six months out your home because uh, all time uh, he is in the ocean. He's in the ocean, but mm -hmm. his salary is very good. Is very is good. Very is the is the salary better paying the work? Es cierto, ya había algo oído yo de eso que ganan bien, yes. pero tienen que estar meses fuera de su casa. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, well, yo. <laughs> which which job are dangerous? Why? The electrician. Uh -huh, electrician. Y también aviator pilot. Como aviador de pilot, piloto, no sé cómo. Pilot. 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 Yes, is dangerous. Eh, voy a agregar el mío. Este, I consider the use of agricultural machinery to be a dangerous job. Yo considero peligroso el uso de, de maquinaria agrícola. Ok. Um, and the, what, the, the jobs in the presentation, what do you do for more also. danger? Fisherman, taxi driver, cowboy, construction worker, dancer, lumberjack. For me, uh, the construction worker. Uh, for the uh, we um, difficult. ¿Qué más? Adrián. Well, uh, I think that the most difficult job is constructed worker because they use a lot of toys and and the second question. Mm, the lumber jacker and, and the, the least three other difficult jobs and electric electrican electrican mm -hmm. electrician yeah Ele electrician and trucker camionero and policeman. Okay. Okay, for me, the, the, the worst, the dangerous worst jobs uh, is uh, cowboys because uh, 
they working with uh, bulls and the bulls uh, for generally is the um, uh, animals um, aggressive aggressivo aggressive no sé cómo se dice um, in the other three other difficult jobs for me is the cops um, the people jobs in the circle acrobatas principal and cops no sé si dije policías yes. Okay, thank you guys for sharing this information. I could listen most of you discussing a little bit about some jobs that could be uh, challenging or difficult for some people for several reasons that you have mentioned before. And we understand that those jobs uh, are very valuable too, like some other jobs in general. There are some jobs that are more dangerous than others, but the personal experience is very important. And also they, they are experts about what they do. And especially these jobs that you can see here needs a lot of practice to maximize the capacity. Okay, we go on to the next part of the class. And also we can see here um, a kind of graphic here. It says complete the word map with jobs from the list. We have a cashier. We also have a chef, a company director, a dancer, flight attendant, musician, pilot, receptionist, sorbet, singer, website designer. And also we have four categories because that is a word map. So there are some categories that represent some jobs that we have right here. We have the jobs like an office work, look at this. Check the words. Okay, we also have the food service and I want you to match. And the food service, entertainment business, travel industry and office work. We had to catalog, right? Vamos a ir ubicando según el trabajo, eh, según el tipo de trabajo y la categoría. ¿A dónde podría entrar cashier? ¿A dónde podría entrar un singer? ¿A dónde podría entrar un website designer? De los cuatro pilares. I want you to do that and also we will socialize the possible answers together. Office work and receptionist. Musician in entertainment business. Pilot in travel industry. So Cashier to food service. Chef, food service. Beside the singer, travel industry. The same singer in the entertainment business. And tour guy in a travel industry. Chef in food service. Two. That's correct. Thank you so much. So you could like uh, socialize the categories with also with the jobs we have here, and it is valuable.
So let's go on to the next part. And also, congratulations. That was very nice. We're talking about working workplaces. We have look at the pictures and match the information in column A, B, and C. So we have six different jobs. Look at the number one and number two, the job number three, the job number four, five, and six. So just watching the pictures, we can socialize that. For example, a chef uh, cooks food in a restaurant. Excellent. That is a great example. Yes. A flight attendant serves passengers for an airline. A nurse cares for patients uh, in a hospital. A carpenter builds house for a construction company. A receptionist answers the phone in an office. And the nurse? A nurse cares for patients in a hospital. Exactly. Thank you so much. So we can um, match also the, the, the person, the job, and also the place where it's located. So that is very important. In an airline, in the restaurant, in the construction company, in a hospital, in a department store, in an office. So we can check about working workplaces. That's right. So some people have different, you know, occupations right so there are different jobs different situations different areas that they work so that is very valuable yes equations or comments also you have a question or comments about these jobs no question for me equations. It's, it's clear all right that's that's great let's continue with the next exercise that, that is a little bit more to practice and we'll stop this. Let's see. Okay, look at this conversation. What I want you to do is to read this conversation. Meanwhile, you read the conversation, we will pass the attendance list. Then I will ask you what is the conversation about. So for that reason, I want you to read carefully the conversation and then I will ask questions about this. And I will pass the attendance list and you say present, please. Do me that favor. Yes?
Mm. Okay, help me with the attendance list. It's here, Adriana Gretel Gonzalez. Here. Thank you. Uh, Agustin Alexander Santa Maria. Agustin? It's not here. What about Andrea Esmeralda Alvarez? Present. Araceli Esmeralda Ventura? Present. Okay, Carmen Andrea Santos Martinez. Carmen Andrea? Present. Present. Eh, Claudia Jocelyn Rivas. Claudia Jocelyn Rivas. Está? No. Present. Denis Alonso Marinero. Good. Gutierrez, está por acá. Present. Present. Francisco Alexander Villafuerte Flores. Yeah, here. Eh, Francisco Javier Orellana Ortiz. Present teacher. Ok. Eh, Freddy José Álvarez Escobar. Se encuentra. It's not here. Eh, Gabriela Guadalupe Zamor España. Se encuentra por acá. No. Eh, Gabriela María Peña Alón. Gerson eh, Vinicio Moreno Funes. Gerson Vinicio. Yes, present. Here I am. Uh, Glendy Elis Elisette Flores Ramírez. Present. Jennifer Raquel Ayala Bastos. I'm here. Thank you. Eh, Jonathan Vladimir Salinas Alberto. Present. Eh, Carla Liliana Portillo Constante. Carla Tatiana Villanueva Serrano. Catherine Jasmine Guatemala Arias. Present. Luis Ariana Guerra Cáceres. Present. Margarita Elizabeth Panameño Guzmán. Mayra Patricia Pérez de García. Present. And Nerlin Jaciel Flores Reyes. Present. Noé Alberto Calzadilla Herrera. Noé. Wendy Patricia Chavarría Ayala. Wendy Patricia. Present. Present. Okay, thank you. Okay, guys, let's continue with the rest of the conversation. So I just want to ask you, what do you remember about the conversation? What what is what was the conversation about? Who wants to tell me about it? Yes. What do you what do you know about the conversation? How do you say comida rápida? Fast food. Okay, what else students? So they are talking about the place where they work. That's why the name of this conversation is where do you work? Because they were talking about a place and uh, what do you do? Que lo que haces? You know, I do this one, I cook, uh, I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Y le pregunta, ¿y tú? Ah, I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. So they were discussing about jobs. And the question is, where do you work? That's the name. When uh, you want to know about where somebody works, you ask the questions, where do you work? This is a short feedback of the conversation. So 
hey, where do you work? Uh, I work in this place. And what do you do? Uh, I'm in charge of people in the company. I monitor some products. I verify some things. So you are describing about the jobs. So that is uh, something interesting about jobs. Look at that part. Sorry. So what, what I want you to do, guys, is the following thing. We will take a short time to practice this conversation in small groups. And you will answer the questions, where do you work and what do you do? Two questions that you will socialize with your partner. So for that reason, I will share the equations. Where do you work? That is the first questions that you will ask to your partner. And well, what do you do? What do you do? When you are talking about what do you do, you have to describe a little bit what and do you do in your job. So that is the first one. And the next one is, uh, do you like your job? Do you like your job? This is the third question that you will socialize. And uh, where do you work? What do you do? Do you like your job? And yes. And also you have to describe what do you like about your job? What do you like about your job? So, oh, if you don't work, if in that case, anybody here doesn't work, but you can describe what you do. If you stay home, I, I have some chores at home, I clean here, I organize some duties, I work in some things. So you can describe what you do in your job. So those questions you will socialize first. But before, we will work in some in a conversation. We will practice this conversation and also practice the pronunciation. So just give me one second. Meanwhile, I will share with you these conversations. Look at the chat, please. Let's read the conversation. It says, where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America. Like Peru, how interesting. Yes, it is a great job, I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. So that's why you can see here the picture about the Hamburger Heaven. So you can see the pictures, right? So they are describing about what they do and that's what you had to do, guys. First, I want you to practice the conversation. After you have had the role play that you have practiced, you will respond the following questions in groups. Where do you work? What do you do? Do you like your jobs? And what do you like about your jobs? Well, I like the environment. It's very interesting. I like um, what I do. I am a, I am a the boss in the company. I love the benefits that I have the, in the company. I enjoy what I do. So you will describe what do you like about your job. In the case that you don't work and you study, you can describe what you study. Si no trabaja, pues puede describir qué hace, qué, qué se hace. Yo estudio. My favorite subject is, is mathematics. It's interesting because I know about numbers. So you can describe what do you do about education, okay? That's what we had to do in a couple of minutes. Um, it's that clear what we had to do? Yes. Excellent. Okay, so let's create the breakup rooms and get ready with the following information here. The most important is that we take a short time to practice because when we practice, we feel more comfortable. So, Let's work with the small groups between four, um, three, four members in each group. So let's click here and atentos para que les llegue la invitación para que ingresos a los breakup rooms, okay? We will have five minutes to socialize this.
And what do you do in your house? And like, I am cooking, cleaning, and care my child. And do you like? I am like. Um, uh, what do you like about about to do? Lo que más le gusta. Lo que hace. And not. Um. At home, no tengo un pasatiempo. I don't have anything. Mm. Eh, la pregunta es básicamente qué es lo que más le gusta de lo que hace en su casa. Uh -huh. bueno, ¿Verdad? I don't have... Ok. Ok, este comienza usted. Ok. ¿Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I, I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. Oh, interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I am a student. I have a part-time job, job, too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger even. Okay. Eh, yo comienzo y alguien más me sigue. Sí, yo, yo sigo. Ok. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. Oh, interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time a part-time job too. Oh. Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? I forgot having Ahora alguien más. Que hay alguien más. Son guanales. Comienza usted, Claudia. ¿Quién iría? Usted y luego Gerson, creo. Eh, entonces sería la conversación conmigo y Gerson. Okay. A usted con eso. <laughs> okay. I begin. Where do you work, Andrea? I work um, at Thomas Chamber. Oh, really? What do you do there? I get I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. All interesting. Yes, a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student. I have a part-time job too. Oh, what work? In a fast food restaurant. What restaurant? Hamburger Heaven.
Y bien, las otras dos compañeras van a practicar. Ahora serían como las preguntas en que trabajan. Sí, va. Like in your, your, in your work. What do you like in your, in your work? Creo que así era la pregunta. Mm, uh, I like, I can help people in, in with their legal affairs. Okay. Si alguien más que pregunte o que conteste. <ríe> si gusta le pregunto a Francisco porque creo que él ha quedado fuera con las preguntas. Sí, sí ajá. Sí, a él pregunte. Where do you work, Francisco? I work, uh, I work at home. What do you do? Uh, ¿Cuál era? What do you do? In Spanish. ¿Qué hace? ¿Qué haces? Eh, okay, ¿A qué in... se refiere su trabajo? Uh -huh. Ahorita. What do you do? What do you do? ¿Qué hacen en el trabajo? Sí, assembly eh, of events. Okay, interesting. Do you like your job? Eh, yes, este. I love it. What do you like about, about your job? Eh, sería alt, alt, todo, todo. La verdad que sí, bastante interesante, por eso digo alt. Ok, thanks. No sé si quedó alguna duda de lo que hicimos o a lo que se refiere el ejercicio. Es solo como practicarlo de lo que hacemos. Sí. De acá del Salvador, no. Yes. Here in Salvador. Sí. Back in time, I am eh, studying here now English at eh, Salvador del Mundo. In my, in my case, no. Only this. Here. Mm -hmm. Ajá. Hoy sí, nos vamos. Nos... Okay, students, congratulations for the work done. It was a very nice practice. Some people ask, what can we do to have a very high English level or at least how can I, what can I do to speak fluent English? The best recommendation in this process is to practice. That is the only one way that can help you to speak fluent, to speak natural, to have a good accent, to sound convincing. That's the way you practice. I know that we can read books, we can learn vocabulary, we can listen to the radio, listen to TV programs in English. We can use a lot of resources, but the best recommendation for all of you to practice is speaking. Speaking in the class, practicing, pronouncing, pronunciating, it's very, very vital in this process to improve English. So we have a, a good way and a good rhythm to keep on studying English. So guys, I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much for staying with us here today and also for having the motivation to practice English here in the class. Remember, enjoy what you do and try to practice every day and it's gonna help you a lot. It's a, it's a great language, a very challenging experience, but we are in the best place to practice English. So thank you so much, everybody. I don't know if you have any comments before come finishing the class. If not, we are dismissed and Thank you so much to stay here with us connected.
Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>